Hey guys and welcome back to another installment in my complete knot tying series, Not Easy. In today's video I'm going to be showing you a remarkably easy and strong knot that has come to completely replace the Palomar knot as my go-to knot for a direct line to lure connection using braided line. Today we're going to be tying the Fission Full Knot. And I slept on this knot for the longest time after it was famously beaten out by the Berkeley braid knot in overall strength on the old Knot War series on YouTube. But then it was pointed out to me in the comments on my Berkeley braid knot tutorial by the inventor of the fish and full knot himself that the fish and full knot was actually stronger with braided line and with monofilament line. And the incredible strength of this knot was reaffirmed again more recently by Tyler Berger from Bass Fishing HQ who through scientific testing determined that the fish and full knot is the strongest braid to lure connection knot. We're gonna get right into tying the knot, but before we do, if you guys do enjoy the video today or learn something of value here, I'd appreciate it if you'd like, comment, and subscribe. And now without further ado, let's go to the table. To start, we first want to take our line through the eye and pull that through to form a tag end about eight inches in length. Next, we want to take our tag end here and we want to go around and through the eye again in the same direction, pulling that through and positioning that tag end next to our main line. At this stage, we wanna to check to make sure that our wraps are close together in the eye, but remaining uncrossed. Next, we're going to pinch our main line and tag line together right above the eye. And from this point forward, the steps that we're going to perform are identical to the steps used to tie the standard uni knot. We're going to take our tag line around and across the main line pinching that between our index finger and thumb. And now with our tag end, we're going to perform five wraps around the main line and tag line inside of this loop. Now we're ready to cinch up our loop, but before we do, I'm going to lubricate the entirety of this loop section and all of these wraps. And now I'm going to slowly pull on my tag end until we cinch that loop all the way up. And now we're ready to cinch this knot down, but before we do, I'm going to lubricate the entirety of this stretch between our knot and the eye with a little bit of saliva just to prevent some line burn. And now we'll check one last time to make sure that our wraps are not crossed over in the eye. And then I'll pull on the main line to cinch that knot down all the way to the eye. And then to cinch the knot a little bit tighter, I'm going to use my index finger and thumb to encourage that knot down as I continue to pull the main line. Now to finish up, we'll just trim our tag end here close to the knot. And there we have it folks, a completed fish and full knot. A knot which is nearly 30% stronger with braided line than the Palomar knot. And now just to make that whole process even easier to follow, let's go ahead and watch that again in slow motion.
Well, that was an easy one. The knot has a silly name and it's basically a slightly modified uni knot, but uh, you gotta give credit where credit is due. The knot is insanely strong. But just one small disclaimer, this knot did not test well with fluorocarbon, which is what I use 95% of the time to connect my line to my lure. But if you're tying your braid directly to your topwater lures, the fish and full knot, is a great way to go. I do have a theory that the double uni knot is stronger, but I will do some scientific testing before I make that claim. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video, and I have more tips, tricks, tutorials, unboxings, reviews, and adventures coming your way. So I will see you in the next one.